Hi, welcome to the Digital Supply Chain course. This is lecture number one, where you will learn about the supply network alignment reference model. And we will do it with a very practical set of applications in a warehousing operation. The supply network alignment reference model was developed by me in the year 2014 to help us all see the key supply chain strategic knowledge areas. So the model is formed by a few very important groups. It starts with the building blocks. The first building blocks is named planning logistics. The planning logistics block includes demand planning and forecasting, purchase and procurement planning, stock and inventory planning, and production planning. The second building block is named synchronous operations, and that includes the knowledge areas of transportation, warehousing operations, manufacturing execution, distribution, the management of reverse channels, and international logistics. The third building block is known as stacked integration, and it includes six key knowledge areas. Customer service or customer logistics, specialized information technology knowledge such as WMS or TMS, sustainability within the supply chain management, supply chain projects, expert human resources, and the strategic sourcing. Very close to that, you will find the supply chain governance block, including supply chain risk management, supply chain business intelligence, and a few other key knowledge areas to each business. Then we need to look a little further the supply chain processes and understand the relationship with the other departments. So we will have the business departments, corporate governance and tactical alignment. And that will include sales, finance, controllership, all key areas within a major organization. And finally, this NAR model will illustrate the external supply chain elements, including your logistics service providers, your customers, suppliers, non-competitors firms, and even your competitors you will have to negotiate with, align with. So we'll see how that works. For now, I'll use this NAR model to illustrate the impact of digital transformation in a warehousing operation. So, one possible approach is using the concept of deep learning, which you will learn during the course, to help face recognition. That may be applied when you enter the facility or even to control access to very specific areas. You can still use deep learning for vehicle recognition that will give you speed and safety throughout your loading and unloading process. You can use machine learning for product assignment within the positions in your warehouse. It will work closely updating the parameters of your WMS. You can also use machine learning to optimize your picking operations and gain productivity. You'll be able to use augmented reality solutions to improve gain productivity, increase safety of your material heading operations, and use Internet of Things, IoT, to connect vehicles, equipment, goods, and people. This will enable to review layout, improve process, improve productivity, reduce accidents. There are a large number of applications even connecting to deep learning, machine learning, and blockchain. You'll be able to see how 3D printing may increase the speed of replenishment processes within a warehouse. You may avoid disruption of goods. We'll see how virtual reality applications will help you to improve and manage projects within the warehouse. We will learn also 
how to use private blockchains to manage internal data. You will learn how to use federated blockchain to manage external data within clients, haulers, customers, and consumers. We'll go through the concept of smart contracts and you'll understand how trading terms will be managed in the context of blockchain. Well, apparently it is a warehouse focused type of solution. But in fact, if you see all the possible correlations, there are many other areas that would be impacted by these solutions. We've just been very quickly through. And that includes demand planning, forecasting, stock and inventory management, customer services, supply chain projects, strategic sourcing, not only the warehousing operations, but also transportation, distribution, even the management of reverse channels. You will need to review the way you deal with your logistics service providers, customers, suppliers, and that would definitely impact areas such as engineering, research and development, human resource, not to mention sales and finance. Now, I'll challenge you. Why don't you take a look at this first assignment and think about the future distribution center? Well, are you really preparing to maintain your employability in the supply chain, say, for the next five to 10 years? This example alerts you to digital transformations in the distribution centers, but this impact will be on all supply chain areas. Now imagine, I have slept for five years and I woke up and went to visit that distribution center. Say it's a food industry distribution center located in a large metropolitan region anywhere around the globe. In these five years I have slept, this team that worked in the warehouse, they have reduced from 428 to 126. And the volume, the throughput multiplied by three. I did the math. Productivity increased more than 10 times. I'll invite you to go through the complete article I have written, and it's available in LinkedIn. You can either use the link or the QR codes, reflect about the article you've just read, and identify other applications for the tech solutions presented. Write your answer in a notebook. The assignments of this course have no right or wrong answers. But you may share the article with your contacts in LinkedIn and start your own discussion. Feel free if you wish to mark me. This is my LinkedIn address. And you can also access my LinkedIn profile with this QR code. And now imagine how different tech solutions and different mindset will impact each of these supply chain knowledge areas. This is what we will see during this course. Our introduction section has just been started with the presentation of this data model. Then we'll go through the concept of industrial revolutions, cyber physical systems, big data and IoT, the omnichannel impact within the supply chain, and a very interesting case of McDonald's. Section two will explore the industry 4.0 solutions, and that includes introduction to artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, blockchain, robotic process automation, augmented reality and virtual reality, 3D printing, and intelligent transport systems. In the third section, you will learn about digital platforms business models. And that will include the concept of digital platforms, digitization, disintermediation, intermediation, disruption, and value proposition. Then in section four, we'll go through the concepts of supply chain analytics, including descriptive analytics, predictive and prescriptive analytics. In section five, you will learn a lot about supply chain data strategy. That includes data source, data uses, 
a supply chain data strategy. In section six, we'll deepen your knowledge on forecasting with machine learning algorithm. You'll learn how to build a predictive model. You'll learn, you will understand how they learn and their learning curves. In section seven, we'll go through blockchain in a variety of applications within the supply chain. You'll learn its principles, what it is, the Hyperledger project, what's a Merkle tree. You'll learn about the types of blockchains. You'll learn how consensus mechanisms do work. We'll go through several applications within the supply chains. You'll understand how smart contracts do connect with the blockchain ecosystems and you understand the overall benefits of this type of solution. In section eight, you will go through robotic process automation details and robotic ecosystems details. In lecture 41, you'll see the principles of RPAs. Then you'll learn how to go through a RPA implementation and how to prepare a center of excellence. Then you'll go through the concepts of robotic ecosystems in detail. You'll understand how the brains work and what are their evolutionary steps. Finally, in section nine, you'll understand how a digital transformation roadmap may be implemented and executed. We'll go through the value proposition roadmap, the business model roadmap, data strategy roadmap and technology roadmap. These are the four pillars of the digital transformation roadmap. In lecture 51, you'll understand how people should get together, must get together to perform a high quality steering committee. And in lecture 52, we'll provide you with a great challenge. We'll invite you to write an article, that's right. You'll be able to put together all questions you have answered during the program and then write an article in LinkedIn. I'm sure your colleagues will be impressed with your publication. In this lecture, we've been through some tech solutions that may impact warehousing operations. And you've learned about the supply network alignment reference model. In lecture number two, we'll go through the concepts of industrial revolutions how they have affected supply chain management, and you understand the concept of cyber physical systems.